so now we will play with some uh, radio buttons as well as the check boxes and we will also use certain images and do some programming in the background okay how we can do that we I mean we have seen that how we can implement the uh, button click event yes or no no so we will see it we will start doing some back-end programming so till now we have been working with that only the layout so let's have working with the other so I mean I have certain resources already there okay so uh, of course I get all those resources from the internet so don't consider that they are mine so I just I can copy like I can just copy that particular things uh, where is the copy six items and then I just go into the drawable and then paste them it will ask me where you want to put I don't want to make it like it's not a uh, v24 mean that it has d24 the, the pixels left uh, height and width so I don't want to put it over there I want to put it in the normal drawable folder again it should confirm that there we want to put it I have these particular specific if I just open it it actually represents a, uh, what we call it Pokemon these are the Pokemons and then we also have the other uh, resources which are in the other folder these are the four characters of that particular ninja turtles okay and I just again put them in the same folder so I'm just copying pasting in that particular drawable folder my I have certain drawable folder so what we want to do we want to build a new layout we want to build a new layout that we want to use and whenever we click on that particular event it will start a new activity so now we will see that how we can add a new activity I mean, until now we are working with only one activity how we can add a new activity it's very simple go to the new new project no not new project does not show me anything any new options no anyway so we can have go into the app right click over here go to the new it show me that particular look we have the activities here activities I want to start a basic activity or empty activity of course we are working with the empty activities so we want to add again it asked me the name so we can say that it is an activity which is um, image selection image selection activity again automatically it is generating that particular layout for me and if I say that's a launcher activity it means it will change that particular behavior in that Android manifest file that this will become the launcher activity not the one that we have designed right now but that I don't want so we, you want to make it backward compatibility then it will be a subclass of the app compact activity if you say no for example if I say no then it will be the subclass or child class of the activity let's have something like this and then finish it so look at that if we look in the our main activity it is actually extend from the app compact activity but if you look at on the image selection activity it's actually a child class of direct activity not the app compact so it is not compatible with the backward versions of the Android so that's what what does it mean now we want to implement a few things for example um, this nice looking button I want to implement a click event how we can implement so we have that particular button this button we are talking about uh, nice looking button happy face we want to create implement a click event on that we have different ways to do that of course the simplest way is we say on click we have a property we have an attribute just like we say layout underscore height layout underscore width source constraint all these properties attributes we are setting for this particular specific tag image button so we also have an on click attribute for this particular image button when you say this thing it asks me the name some string value that string value is actually the name of the method 
that is going to be executed whenever we click that specific button when we click on this particular button it will execute this method and we can give any name any name here for example what you want to happy face button again it is showing me that there's a red line here so it said of course look what is showing when i come down here it is showing me corresponding method handler corresponding method handler that method does not exist in our java code file is there any any method with the name happy uh, face button no so we need to create that particular button we have two different ways whether i mean we come down here copy because that name should be the same that we are going to design here so we can simply say that public void name of the method it receive a view as an input um, if i say this thing it say that i don't know what is a view how i can do that either i can come down here press alt alt enter it will actually import that particular view for me automatically and then it is our compiler can understand actually this is a view class which has been defined in the android.view library okay or if i say that i want to i mean again it is not there so if i say that when i am typing typing it capital view it show me that on the when i select that particular view and press enter automatically it add that import line and then it is understandable for the java compiler that what does view mean of course that's an object class name so we need to give the name maybe i say view so remember that any handler any type of handler specifically that click event any type of handler it always does not return anything it's a public method it should be a void it does not return anything and it will receive a view as an input and that view is actually the view whether it's a button whether it is a text box whether it is whatever that is on which you have clicked or you have performed some act user has performed some action the same view will come as so actually that same happy face button it will come and as a view inside that method and we can change we can make it disable we can make it disappear we can change that particular things on it understand so we it i mean we have created this method and if we go back to our here it say that fine now that red line is gone why because it can find that particular specific method inside our java file okay inside our java file it can find that method uh, right now we are doing not doing anything but we can do what we can do change that particular layout with the other one is it fine because actually we have created a new activity so we can call that activity remember that we uh, talk about the intent in the our first class that intent is an a specific message that we are sending to the other activity set you start remember so we can use that specific intent object so we can say that intent i mean if i type again intent it'll say that oh what is this intent i don't know now it's alt enter or import it automatically or you can say when you are typing it it show me the option i select that option and press enter automatically look at that it has imported that particular file for me so we say that intent is equal to new intent and that's a new intent and then how we can create it uh this and then we can say that our image image selection activity dot class so we are saying that actually we are creating that particular content we are giving the package context we are in this current class so this is the context of that particular intent 
what to whom i mean actually we are saying that who is sending the message this class is sending the message to whom it is sending the message it is sending that message to the image selection activity dot class the other activity that we have created in this project and then we can simply say that um, uh, activity start I have to remember that uh, start activity start activity we are starting an activity and we are passing that particular intent object understand so whenever we click that particular button this current activity will go into the background and that new activity will come in right now we have not implemented anything here it's like constraint layout um, uh, okay let me put a small quick message like I say that uh, image view uh, here I say that what um, I want to make it 200 DP okay and then I also have a 200 DP that's our image view we can leave it like that and then we are say a source source is actually our Charizard well I mean whatever you want to select that specific source we have copied few line few uh, objects here so we just do that is it fine now I just run that particular application where is our is over there so let's see that what's going on here it will show me that particular happy face activity with different buttons all here and there different buttons with no meanings at all if I click on the other button nothing will happen but when I click on that particular specifically happy face button it will show me that particular activity that I mean if I click on these buttons nothing is going to happen because we have not implemented anything I mean we are clicking on it but they are not doing anything reason is that we have not actually implemented the click even but when I click on this one what will happen it show me the other activity now we can click that particular back button to go back but actually we have not put anything over there to come back into the previous activity but when I click on this one again it will again show me that particular specific activity is it fine till now so that's how we can implement that specific click event how we have that specific button inside we are giving the attribute happy face button uh, on click we are giving the happy face button actually this happy face button is the name of the method which is going to handle that click event so we need to create that particular here one more thing I just delete that particular method I just copy that particular thing which we have put it over there and now if we go back here again it show me that specific thing that corresponding method handler public void happy face android view button is actually giving me all that thing not found it is not don't exist in my code so what I can do I can click on that particular thing go into that particular bulb which is a helper button it say that create that method I mean it's up to you you want to click on that particular button come down here and create that method or you can bring your cursor at that particular specifically red underlined name of the method press alt enter when you press alt enter it will show you the same drop down menu and then you can select you want to create that particular method inside the main activity so look at that it automatically created I mean you don't need to remember okay how we, I mean it's a public void what will be the input of that if you don't remember don't worry about it that Android studio is going to help you out so just say on that particular name of the method which is underlined red bring your cursor over there press alt enter 
it will show you that how <coughs> create that method in the java code file create it automatically created and then again i'm putting that same thing that we have put before we are creating the intent that is a message from this activity that's a main activity to the other image selection activity and we are going to say that start that activity using that particular intent and we are I mean, actually we are sending that particular message to the image selection activity is it fine till now is it okay okay fine now we come down to here now we want to do some you know some uh, selections uh, radio buttons and the first of all let me add some radio buttons so i give the id to this one so i say that this is an image radio button why i am saying that because this image is going to change itself the picture is going to change the source is going to change depending on which radio button we are going to select so what we can do that's why i give that particular specific property name now i am putting some radio buttons radio button again i say wrap content wrap content and then i what i am going to say that what text and text we can have the name of those uh, name of those drawables so we have the blastwise okay and then i also give that particular radio button uh, do i need to give the name uh, let's see yeah i think because we are in the constraint layout we have to give that layout names so that we give the so we can say that id not if id so we can say that blastwise rb it's a radio button understand so let me copy this thing uh, not copy let me uh, what we want i mean now it is coming they are both here here so what i want this about this one i want that this particular image radio button should go on the right of this one so i can apply a constraint what is that constraint constraint left side left of this one go to the right of this one id and then we have that image radio button so look at that it is going up there maybe we can increase that particular text size okay text size 20 sp okay so 20 or maybe 25 okay let let's keep it 20 20 now i can copy it why it is showing me that thing okay there is something i don't want to use that thing that absolute constraints is coming up it's always going up and there so we have given the id so we are saying that go to the right of that one i am copying this one because this constraint we are going to use it only thing that we are going to change the name so what is the next bulbaso okay bulbaso and then here we say that b u l b a s a u r bulbaso again if you look at that yes it is on the right of that particular image but it should be below of that particular thing so we can say that constraint top top of this one should be the bottom of what blast twice so look at that is coming down baba sor is coming down okay so similarly we can like uh, okay uh, add this thing what is the next one butter butterfree mm, butter free and then here we are going to give that particular say that butter free 
and then of course we need to bring it down that bulb as well below that bulb bus so. so we can set constraint top to the bottom of id and then we say that vul bulb bus or it's coming down here fine maybe i can just copy this one here let me okay we have we need to know those names here okay so what is that the what is the next one we have a charizard Charizard, and here we can say that Charizard, and then here instead of saying that the Bulbasaur, we are saying that it should be butter free. Coming down, fine. We can again add copy this thing here, and then what is the next one? We have a Charmander. RB fine char mender and here it will go down to that charizard fine what is the next one we have the bulbasaur fine uh, char mender don't allow i don't want to include here michael angel we have a war total here the last one because that's a different thing that different characters so i don't want to mix them so we have a war turtle, a turtle who do the wars, huh? A war turtle, and then this will go down to that Charmander. So we have all those things. Now, if I try to run that particular application i mean right now we are not we have not implemented the click even behind that particular specific things the specific uh, radio buttons first of all we need to click on that particular event show me that one so if we look at that i um, mean this is not the right behavior what is the right behavior there should be only one should be whenever I check the other the other should automatically go unchecked how we can fix that particular behavior so we have actually a radio button group radio group I say wrap content wrap content and I'm also want to make that particular radio button to the right of okay uh, okay, I'm, I will show you and then I just put put everything here in the all these radio buttons should go into that particular group When I make them group look at that that come down here even I'm saying that something like this But actually it is applying the constraint on that particular group So we have to apply that particular specific constraint that the left of this one should be to the right of that image Okay so we have to put that constraint here fine till now is it okay so we have all those buttons here now if I try to run this thing you can see that only one will be selected if I click on the other the second one will be automatically so now we have fixed that particular behavior now if we look at that this is a charizard yeah i mean in the beginning it should be like it show me something like this that charizard the picture is shown and charizard is selected this is fine now i come back to my code here and now we can how we can connect remember last time i told you that whenever we are creating those at the runtime, this particular layout is created. When it create the runtime, that particular XML layout is created. Actually, it create all the objects. For example, here it will create an image view object. Image view, just like we are going to create here. I mean, if I say that I want to have that particular image view 
and then it's a uh, uh, image rb uh, it's an rb whatever name so we are creating that uh, right now it is null because we have not initialized that particular image. remember that how i can connect this particular variable which is right here we have created with that particular image which is already there in the android system when you create that particular specific layout and show it on the screen actually it show it is created but how i can access that particular image object in my code for that purpose we have to give them name actually we have already given them all the names ids you know what is an id mean it is a unique integer value which is automatically generated in that r class remember that so if we look at that we are creating that particular layout when we run that particular specific line in the on create method we actually create that complete we have the uh, image view object in our android system we have that radio buttons object in the android system everything is created so that's why it is visible otherwise if you don't create those objects how we can show it on the screen understand so everything is created now we want to connect those particular objects which are already created by the android to show that screen on this that particular layout on the screen we want to connect with our variables here in the code so that we can change that particular name change that particular image in that particular image box how we can do that we create look image view again we have an image view object in the widget image view object we have created it is right now null it is not pointing to anything now we need to get the reference of the image view object which is already created and assign it to that image rb variable okay so how we can do that we have this one image rb the name of the variable is equal to find by view id find by view id and where is that particular view id has been defined in the r class in the r class we have a sub class that is called id and in that id class we have defined that image radio button that is the exact name that we have given here image radio button do you want me to show that particular r class to you again are you sure that you don't want to see that you know everything what's going on what i'm talking about we have an r class okay let me show you one last time we have that particular r class here i mean what i did i go change that particular view from android to the packages i go into my name and uh, like package of that one i mean if i can uh, this package i'm talking about so i go into that particular package we have some classes all the classes that we have created here look we have a build config all these i mean but these are the two that we are working on but this is auto generated by this android system if we look into that we have that particular r class which is a big class inside we have a class id and inside the class id we have defined what is the image image i i i i so it is an image radio button it has been defined so what we are trying to do here we are simply saying that that particular uh, number with which we have the android system has already created that particular image view so we are assigning that object to this image rb variable now we can simply say that image okay image rb dot set image source set image source and then we are saying that i mean we have given the charizard so again remember that all these uh, let me bring back to my android system these things they are already i don't want to show you this thing these are already there in the drawable folder again we have a resource r file r class inside we have a drawable class and inside we have defined these names 
Bulbasaur, Blastoise, Charizard. Let me go with the War Total. So what will happen? It will change that particular image. I mean, right now that image is Charizard, but it will go into the. It will be changed into the War Total. Understand? One more thing. Now I also want that this War Total. radio button should be checked again that radio button object exist in our android system because we have created that particular layout when we create that layout all those objects actually exist now i want to again connect that particular object with my variable that we can define here so i again go here i say radio button object and what is that okay rb whatever the name you want to give here is totally up to you rb dot rb first of all we need to set find by view id again r dot id and then we have var total rb understand here we are connecting the image view with that particular image rb variable now we are connecting that particular var total rb radio button with this rb variable and now we can say that rb dot set check look the variable the method set check and we say that true can we run this thing application again and see actually it is happening when i click on that particular button it will show me the other one look now it is not showing me the charizard which is the default one there because and the programming time when we are creating that one we change that particular image to the var total and we also say that that var total button should be clicked checked and again when i do that it is working perfectly fine but we want to on this click even we want to change that particular image with the new one whatever that charizard or butterfly or whatever it is click whichever specific uh what you can say that uh, the name of that specific uh, pokemons we are selecting it will accordingly change that particular image fine how we can do that on click event sorry not on check that is something that visible thing click even that's we are clicking what do i we can clicking so i mean we have different ways what are the ways we can simply say that go into each button each button every button like this is the uh, blast twice i say on click and say that blast twice r b click this is the method name again i press alt enter create that method over there it will say and then we have that particular image again look at that i have defined that particular variable as a global variable i can access it in my here so i simply say that uh, image rb dot set image resource r dot drawable dot blast twice i can do the same thing for the other one as well like on click and now it is a bulba sor uh, bulba sor r b click again i press alt enter or i can ask that particular helper bulb to please create that method for me again it's up to you how you want to do that again i say that image rb dot set image source r dot drawables dot bulb so simple and then if we have 100 rb radio buttons then i have to write the 100 method i am only implementing for these two right now 
Okay, so I've just run it. If I click on that, so look at that. When I say blast voice, it is changing the move. When I say bulba sword, it's changing. But when I say butterfly, it's not changing because we have not implemented those click events yet. Now the point is, if we have like here, we have only few radio buttons. If we have hundred. Do you want me to write the hundred methods like this? What we are doing? We are doing the same thing. Just changing that particular image source. So that's not a good idea to implement that particular specific behavior. Yes, you can. I mean, we can. I just show you that we just say on click, on click, different name, method names, write all those method names, it will work fine. But we have an intelligent way to do this. And what is that? We say that we have an like uh, radio button click method, and we are going to use that same method for all the click events. Here again, on click, same method. I'm not changing it. You know my point? Uh, not, not here. On click, and then we paste it. And then we say on click, and then we paste it. And then what is the uh, last one? That is again uh, not right now. Paste it after that one. So again, I can press Alt Enter, create that particular method. Understand? So I just delete these methods. As I told you, that view is actually the view on which we have performed that particular specific click event. I mean, looking at that, we are we have performed the click event on the Baltois or the Bulbasaur or the Butterfree or the Charizard or the so that view which is coming as an input to this method that is actually coming from representing that particular specific radio button on which we have clicked. So we say that we make a switch on what? View dot get ID. We have assigned all the, the radio buttons some ID. Yes or no? And these are the unique integer values which has been defined in our r.id class. So we can say that we have a switch. It means that what is the case? Case 1 r.id. Uh, what, uh, what was the uh, blastwise? If it is a id of the blastwise of that particular view on which we have clicked, it means that image dot set image source should be r dot drawable dot blast wise and then we break you know that I can just copy these things uh, and then put it over there now second case bulbasaur and then again I just need to change that particular to bulbasaur Again, I say that, what is the third one? Maybe I can open that thing. We can see, we have a Bulbasaur, we have a Butter. Not this one. We want to do something here. Butterfree. Butterfree RB. Yeah, radio button is click. So, we say that Butterfree. We change that image to the Butterfree. Again, copy paste. And then, what is the next one? Charizard RB if that is the case then we will change the source to the Charizard and then we have the char mender again we change that particular to char mender and what is the last one I think that's a war total RB and then here we have a war total so based on that particular ID of the view on which we have clicked, we 
given all those things. And now if I just try to run this thing, you can see the difference. I click on that event, it go down here. The same method is helping us to show what we want. Okay, so let's close that video and in the next video we will talk about how we can handle that checkboxes. Not common. We have seen that how we can use that particular radio buttons. So now we see in the next video.